Uh, Ratchet? You realize you're supposed to be in your ship, not on your ship? I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> hey everybody, Klaus here. Welcome back from more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank in the last episode. We got coordinates to not only planet Iridia, but planet Karan. This time, the ladder is where we're going. So, let's talk to Al, even though, um, <clears throat> Captain Quark is likely long gone from Karan, but that's the only lead we have, so let's do it. <clears throat> okay, to start things off on planet Karan, <clears throat> we have a bit of a jerkish secret, unfortunately. Seriously? Hold on. Lovely! I just started recording this episode, and already I'm getting interrupted. Okay. <clears throat> but regardless, I'm going to jump down here. I am dead serious. You gotta do this if you're, you want to complete her percent it's kind of cryptic, and I don't get how a first comer, first, first timer is supposed to get this. Yeah, Turkish gold, gold, isn't it? <clears throat> I guess during that cut, I decided to get. I thought, why not get me a soda? But one thing that is pretty cool, however. I can, there we go. You can actually hit these cars and you can get a ton of bolts this way. If we're only to just sit here for a while and just kill unlucky... Uh, <laughs> Commanders, feel free. I mean, just the fact that you get bolts out of this kind of makes you a dick, but still. You do have this as a grinding spot if you, if you, if you so desire. It's great. Also, these... Second, there you go. Kind of want to do it a little uh, ahead of time, but not too early, because you miss your mark. These crates! Yeah, those are explosive crates. Just touching them sets them off. And not like, not necessarily sets them, sets them off, but starts a timer. In which case, yeah, that, that would cause them to detonate. If you're gonna strike those crates, do it at a distance. There's also... This one here is pretty cool. You have a little taxi service that gets you right back to your ship. <clears throat> Which is pretty helpful. Now, out of our <clears throat> direction of pathways that we can take after applying yet another new weapon, the blaster. I like the power sector. It's one bolt per unit of ammo. Don't get used to this, by the way. This will especially be helpful not too long after this, actually. Because we have a Robomut and a 
Templar Commander. These guys will have a lot more regular shots. And even though they, they fire little rockets, they're not that devastating, actually. <clears throat> Just to have a bit more range than the typical bird bots do. I guess that, that'd be the only worry. Sometimes they're, they're not that bad. It, excuse me, thank you. I could have just let him shout something like kind of. No, oh well. Okay, this is the only time to my knowledge this even shows up. <clears throat> the Blark Hella Commander. You guys, I got here. Yeah, I kind of don't. I'm not kind of not feeling that name, but at the same time, though. Uh, oh, listen to this. Is it just me, or does he sound like a chain smoking Robotnik? <laughs> I don't know why, but this. Good. He. I'm sorry. He. He sounds like a Robotnik after um. <clears throat> like a month straight of chain smoking. It's just. Why? <laughs> I can't take it serious. I mean, it just. <laughs> it sounds. It sounds so stupid. But, you know I'm gonna be a rebel. I'm going down the up escalator. Because fuck you, that's why. Haha. <laughs> okay, those guys are mind layers. They do what's advertised on the box. They lay mines. It can be kind of tricky to... Land your mark if you're fighting with a bomb glove. But at the same time, though, you can. I wouldn't put too much into it, but you can pretty much get rid of the mines by um, using a bomb glove. They will start to disappear after a certain amount of um, mines have been placed down. I guess it's on that way to reserve ram space. But. We're here. Right. <clears throat> That's the man we saw in the info box. Remember, he knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. <coughs> we thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Hey, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Match. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. <laughs> of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. <coughs> Okay, this is something I wanted to get into right now before I buy the helipack. <clears throat> My critiques of the reboot start here. <clears throat> and I will expand upon this until a little bit later. Well, one of them, but I will say this right now. When Ratchet gets here. I've died and gone to nerd heaven. Because clearly only nerds can find Ratchet playable or heck, even fun. <clears throat> My other critique, a critique has to do with interactions between Ratchet and Clank. Again, I'll get into this a bit later. But... Let's just get the hell back. Okay, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, wait. Back it. Am I cool now? <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. Okay, now with this game in particular. I'm not sure we noticed it, but <clears throat> when he was talking you see bits of his tongue missing. And the fact that there's 
other pixels missing from his character model, specifically his shirt. That seriously bugs me about the Heiki remake. Just specifically, you just you can't you, you couldn't do the modeling correctly. I mean, come on. But anyway, you wanna. <clears throat> Where the Halibut Cup for upgrading comes in, you get a special boost jump by crouching and pressing the jump button. Doing this while running lets you do a special stretch jump, which gets you across larger gaps. Which, having these moves at your, at your disposal, it will be handy for something that we'll be getting to fairly shortly. Now we're gonna get up here so we can get up top of that ledge. Because our boost jump isn't quite high enough to reach that ledge. Because, well, reasons. Get, get. Okay, I was hoping to launch that guy off the cliff, but I guess that won't work. You know, I will get closer to him so I can kind of demonstrate this. He kind of, he does have a melee attack. Which... Goodbye. <clears throat> that is actually one of the few attacks that will have knockback to it, but... What I wanted to show... Was actually up here. These Robomuts. Muds. These spawners in, speci in specific, as long as you don't take that down, you do have a decent enough grind spot. But if you're gonna grind off of these Robomuts, Now's not the best place to do it. it what are you doing? <laughs> How did you get over there? I wonder. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. But this, okay, you want to walk, walk over to this ledge over here. And you see that statue? Okay, you want to glide your way there. Just glide. Now, we're... We can actually land on the statue, but if you go in between the statue's legs... Skill point! This is another series staple. The, um... Skill points are special little things that you can do, I guess, to earn a... Yeah, Strike a Pose. I made a special profile strictly for the sake of Let's Playing. <clears throat> That's why you kind of saw the, um... Trophy come up. But yeah, there are special little tasks that, that you can do within the game that either show off your skills or... It basically rewards you for thinking outside the box, which is amazing for a time. <clears throat> Especially during the 360 days for, um, with um, achievements where you had to really kick some ass to earn them. Oh, how I miss those days. But regardless, though, I kind of want to... I kind of want to take up these mines just to be in the absolute safe side. And goodbye, buddy. Too good for you, man. Then again, these guys aren't particularly all that strong. Okay, for now though, I'm going to go ahead and switch the sector. As we come up to this train station. I'm going to ignore those Blark Commanders and go for the Robo Mutts. This was that place I was talking about if you want to crank up some bolts. You got three? Okay, okay I believe like what, three enemy spawners, which. <laughs> Go me, I've taken out one of them already. And then again, I'm not exactly here to grind bolts, but merely point out where you can do so. If you want to take advantage of that, be my guest. <laughs> but. The real reason why I'm here... Wow, you got terrible aim, buddy. 
Not to point out his terrible aim, but you want to jump across these um, suitcases to get yourself another gold bolt. <clears throat> these gold bolts actually do have a fairly forgiving hitbox. And we'll see... We'll especially see that in action later on. For one specific point, I won't... I can't say when. But just trust me on this. It's kind of funny what they did. Now, I'm gonna take you guys out. They don't need to, but I want the bolts, damn it. And speaking of wanting the bolts... For whatever reason, there is a couple of bolt crates up here, as well as an ammo crate. However, I don't think I can get on top of that train, can I? No, there's a... <clears throat> there's a barrier preventing us from doing so. Curses foiled again. Anyway, you wanna go over here. There's a little bit of um, voltage right here. And BOOM! Okay, it wasn't quite the wall breakage that I was hoping for, but oh well. It doesn't really matter. There's a bunch of bolts, there's a ton of bolts behind this wall so you can't Behind this wall of luggage. Uh, this is a terrible train station. Just to have all this luggage out here. In the open. Just waiting to be taken. But as soon as we get on this train. <clears throat> okay. What? Uh, why was that floor commander just firing? He's still firing away, even though we're... Nowhere in range for him to do... I'm sorry, I just kind of... I want this to sink in a little bit. I don't know why he's even doing that. We're not even in the same car as him. Not even close to him. What? What the fuck is this? Okay, I'm getting some really stupid shit to happen here. All I like doing is just knocking him off the train car. And you. Bye. I. Okay. This is going really bad. That was, I nearly walked into that rocket. Thank goodness I didn't. Okay, I need to find some now tech. I need it bad. Also, <clears throat> we are directly above that one other mission objective that we can take on. Let's do it jump here. A train pulls into the station. Before anything else, I need this nanotech. Okay, whatever. No mines allowed. Mine layer. For that, you must die. You can't do your job around here. That infobot. <laughs> Greetings, Executive Chairman Drek. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. We must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. 
Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. I'm counting on you, Captain. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take this appointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Drek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> okay, I kind of find that funny what's going on in, uh, in the, uh, <coughs> the info bot there. Or specifically where it's Drex Communique. Everything is going according to plan. One Xbox strikes another. <laughs> okay. But now I got the hella pack. And in the interest of Do I wanna take on that mission now? Um <clears throat> no, I think I'm gonna end things off here. So, next time on Let's Play Wreck It and Clank, we are going that away to talk to Quark. And I use air quotes because that clearly isn't Quark. <laughs> But it is the episode of one of my favorite cutscenes. See you guys then.